When I was a younger man, I had gotten Harvest Moon for my Game Boy Advance. I had just come back from Florida and was rediscovering my love for video games, and one that I had always wanted to try out was Harvest Moon. Since the first one was so very expensive to get, I settled for the second game of the series on the Game Boy, Harvest Moon GB. I actually got the color version. As I created my first character, I decided how I would play the game. You see, I always go into these games and make up a story in my head. For some repetitive games, this actually helps me keep interest in it as I make a challenge for myself and see if I can keep it, playing the game my way. So for this game, I decided that I would take every in-game Saturday off and do no work. This was, of course, the challenge that I set upon myself to see if it were possible to take a day off and still get crops taken care of. Well, of course, you'd still have to feed any animals. I mean, that's a gimme. I named my character Amos. That was the last name of my great-grandfather who actually had a ranch in Decatur, Arkansas. I was very lucky enough to have spent a lot of time with him as he lived to be quite old. He was a quiet man and a hard worker, a very typical farmer. He wore overalls everywhere he went. He drank his coffee by pouring it into a saucer and sipping it from that. He read his Bible and, and he thought a lot. He was an amazing man and so my imagination made him in this game. This game really caught my attention. Sure, the sprites were little chibi characters that walked around, and the story was much simpler than what I was used to in newer games, but the gameplay was really addicting. There was a simple pattern to it, and I worked hard to make my fields look the correct way for optimal watering and harvesting. I helped out the villagers with a smile, and, and I lived a very frugal year only buying what I needed and making sure that I did my best and helped everyone who needed it. But at the year's end, my in-game grandfather was not impressed with my work. So, a little cheesed off, I put the game away and I didn't touch it. Nowadays that I've been playing Farmville 2, I've had the desire to play a game where I don't have to wait several real hours to see the fruitions of my labor or to restock up on supplies. And so I've picked this game up again and I'm sent back to the world that I discovered several years ago when I had created my farm and helped out my ghostly relative rediscover his dream and watch it slowly become mine. And once again, I have named my character Amos and I work hard plowing the fields, planting seeds, feeding the animals under my care, and going to the village for holidays. Amos here, like my great-grandfather, is, in my mind, a quiet man in this digital 8-bit world of his, and he'll continue his farm work with only the recognition of the villagers who visit him. But he asks very little in his attempt to make this farm something truly that he can call his own. And in this, maybe that will make him just a little happy. <laughs>